afternoon, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Spilling Tea. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, bit of a frog in my throat. I am your host, Tiffany Daniels. Now, what we are talking about today is... I don't even know how to get into this, so I guess I'll just blurt it out. So I get on Twitter this morning, and one of the JD supporters had up that apparently they are now going after Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus is an actor that is known for Daryl Dixon in The Walking Dead, or is where I know him for, from uh, the Boondock Saints movies. Now, why are people suddenly going after Norman Reedus? What on earth did he do? Well, apparently due to the fact that he has been in a Marilyn Manson video, apparently it is guilty by association, folks. Uh, to the point that we already have someone out there in the Twitter sphere trying to spread false information about him in regards to his relationships with Marilyn Manson and supposedly even dragging JD into it. Uh, this Twitter statement stated that there were pictures of the three of them together from years ago. Well, Norman Reedus kicked that one right in the bucket, just came straight out and said, I have never even met Johnny Depp. Why are you making stuff up? Or you are making it up. Sorry. <clears throat> of course, this person tried to backpedal, saying maybe the person, uh, Hope, I think her name is, who's associated with Manson, was misunderstanding things and that it looked like him in the photo. But apparently, yes. It's a bad case of guilty by association, just simply because he's been around Manson before and has been friends with him. Okay. So much into this. So much in this. So, you have a few people coming out in his comments that he needs to come out and say something in regards to the allegations against Marilyn Manson to condemn the behavior, right? Okay. So shoot me for being the bad guy. But why does he have to say anything? Why do others think they have to write to cancel him if he doesn't say anything? He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do anything at all. Why do you feel he needs to come forward and clarify anything? I mean, if you are a longtime fan of his, you should already know what he stands for and what he doesn't. And if you don't, are you really even a fan? Or are you just following a franchise? They... They're wanting him to fall in lockstep in regards to a situation that has absolutely nothing to do with him. And people are attacking him on his personal friendships in regards to accusations that literally have nothing to do with him. So my question is, who's going to be next in this particular crusade? Are we are we gonna come after uh, are we gonna come after Annie Lennox next? Are we gonna come after the Eurythmics? Are we gonna come after Depeche Mode? Are we gonna come across with anybody who's ever taken a photo with Manson before, who is or has been at some point a celebrity or political figure at some point? Really? Because that's a lot of people. Hollywood and the music industry 
they're not the large worlds that we think they are. Everybody's all interconnected. So, by calling Norman Reedus guilty simply for doing nothing, then you might as well call all of the Hollywood and music scene of the 90s guilty. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Fact of the matter is, his name shouldn't have even come up. It shouldn't have even come up. JD's name should have never come up, but, but with A.H. involved, we knew it was going to. But Rita's? Why? Why? People need to leave him alone. Alone! I am so tired of this cancer that they call cancel culture. Where you are literally considered guilty for not doing anything wrong. I, I just. So, you are going to be seeing that in your Twitter feeds, by the way. You're going to be seeing people coming after Norman Reedus for simply being friends with the man. Even though he didn't do anything wrong. In this particular case, I would say absolutely say something. Absolutely say something. Jump in. Because this is insanity. This is insanity. You can't just call people guilty. For knowing other people. Are we going to start locking up everybody now? Alright. <clears throat> Rant over, folks. Just keep an eye out for those tweets. I know he's going to start getting some really nasty feedback now for some folks. So, just jump in. And try to expose this toxic behavior. Report people who are getting nasty with them. And as always, folks, we don't get very many views on this channel. The few views we do get do tend to get removed by YouTube. So as always, if you don't mind, please don't forget to hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to, to leave the comments. Now... I do intend at some point to start doing live streams, but as all of you have seen in my videos before, I have issues with lighting, so until I can get some better lighting going on so I can actually use my laptop to be able to start doing some live streams, uh, you're still going to be getting these videos up until that time, so I hope you all bear with me and are patient with me in regards to that. Alright. Again, thank you for your time, folks. I hope you have a good one. Keep fighting the good fight. And just keep an eye out there, not just for JD, but for all the others getting dragged through the mud. For just simply existing. Alright. Bye-bye.